Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Sun and Moon on deck video, and today guys, we're looking at a Bayonet Greninja deck, a deck that I have built here, um, and I'm actually finding it to be quite some fun to play. Um, the idea is kind of interesting, there's a lot of damage kind of modifier things, so this is a very interesting build. Um, I really wanted to do something fun with Bayonet, I just could never think of a good deck for this guy. I really like Bayonet. It's an interesting card. It's got a lot of potential to be powerful. But again, I could just never find the right deck for it. Um, but now we're going to be trying out this build using Greninja with Bayonet. So Bayonet GX is a very cool GX attacker. Um, it's got 190 HP, so a little on the weaker side for a stage 1 GX. It is also weak to dark, which is a huge issue. Obviously, you know, Zoark GX is big, and Zoark will one-shot you every single time. So, Bayonet's weakness to Dark is super bad, and one of the downsides to this is its weakness. However, Bayonet does have some pretty good traits, and that is the attacks. Um, so, the attack, Shadow Chant, does 30 damage for... And then does 10 more damage for each supporter card in your discard pile, but you can't add more than 100 damage. So, at max, you can hit for 130. With a Choice Bane, you can hit for 160. But again... We are playing a build with Greninja, we also have Shady. So, damage can add up very quickly for Shadow Chant. Now, it is going to take some time to get supporters in the discard pile. Um, we do play a heavy supporter count, which is kind of the reason why we are doing this. we got stuff like Ace Rolla, Cynthia, Guzmas, Judges. Um, we have a lot of supporters to burn through. So, the idea here is you burn through your supporters, Shadow Chant, go from there. You also have Tomb Hunter, or Tomb Hunt, sorry, not Tomb Hunter, Tomb Hunt. Um, which for a single Psychic Energy, put three cards from your discard pile back into your hand. This is a very, very good attack. Um, getting any three cards you need is very important in a format where stuff like Super Rod, Special Charge, um, Puzzle of Times are all rotated out. So, very strong GX attack. Bayonet is also a Psychic type also, obviously. It will shred through stuff like Buzzwell GX and also Lucario. So, Bayonet has... A lot of good traits. Its biggest downfall is, of course, that weakness to dark. Being weak to dark is really, really bad. But outside of that, this card can just tear through a lot of stuff. Um, so the partner I've gone with is Greninja today. Greninja GX is another interesting card. Um, of course, it's got that ability Shuriken Flurry, which when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Frogadiers, you put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Very strong ability with damage modifiers. Basically, the reprint of Crobat. Um, it's attack haste, slash isn't bad either, uh, does 110 for water and a DCE, and then you may shuffle this in all card stature back in your deck. The strong thing about haste, slash, is if your opponent doesn't KO Greninja, you can immediately shuffle it back into your deck, um, and remove all that damage on it, and that's really deadly, especially if you take a knockout with haste, slash, um, you can really punish your opponent for not knocking you out, so haste, slash, is a very strong attack. We also have Shadowy Hunter, which can do 130 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, not too great. Um, honestly, Tomb Hunt is probably going to be the main GX attack in this deck. But Shadow Shadowy Hunter is still good in regards. It's not terrible by any means at all. Now, the other attacker in the deck is just a single baby Buzzwell. Again, this deck can struggle to be Zoark sometimes. So, Buzzwell's here for Sledgehammer, which can one-shot a Zoark. It's our best defense against Zoark. I don't know if it's the best way to stop it, but being able to just take two free prize on a Zoark might be what we need sometimes. We got our two Lele's with Wonder Tag. We got a 4-3 Froki line. Of course, Frogadier's ability Gale Shuriken says when you evolve it on a Froki, you put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. So you can put up the five damage counters with Frogadier and Greninja. And of course, you have Shady Move, which allows you to move a damage counter from one of your Pokemon um, to another Pokemon. So you can do a lot of stuff with Shady Move. Or it's just move a damage counter anywhere, actually. No, it's not even that. It's from damage counter from any Pokemon. So even your opponent's Pokemon. Um, so just some really good combos you can do with this deck um, with damage modifiers. It's one of the things I like about it. You know, you can move damage off of your Pokemon to another post Pokemon. So you can, like, honestly go Frog, you can go Frogadier, Greninja, if you get that one turn, that's five damage counters you put on the board. Plus Shady Move, that's six damage counters extra in one turn. So very strong combo there. You can honestly even see, like, a Bayonet Decidueye deck become a thing. Um... I don't know if that would work though. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at the items now. We got one Aqua Patch, uh, just here for Greninja. Aqua Patch can be really important sometimes. We are playing one copy of Field Blower to be able to move any tools. 
move any stadiums. Very good card. Um, we got one treasure, can grab us Bayonet. Also good to get Lele turn one for our turn one supporters. Two Nest Balls to be able to put basics on our bench. One Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. One copy of Switch. Switch is just really good right now. Four Ultra Balls to be able to get Pokemon. Also a good way to get supporters in the discard pile. Same thing with kind of the one treasure. Now we go into supporters. And I have played a, I am playing a heavier count of supporters in this deck than usual. Uh, we got one copy of Ace Rolla, which allows you to use a Pokemon good with Bayonet and Greninja. Four Cynthia's for draw. Four Guzmas. We got two Judges. Two Lilies. One Pokemon Fan Club. I am playing one Fan Club in here to be able to get two basic Pokemon. Um, turn one can be good. So either turn one Lily or turn one Fan Club, whichever one you think is going to be better. One Kikui. The extra 20 damage also goes a long way in a deck like this where you're already doing a lot of damage modifiers with all the abilities you have. One Tate Lies, or two, not one, sorry, we got two Tate Lies, mainly for the shuffle effect. And yeah, we are playing a very heavy count of supporters. In total, we're playing like, we got five, nine, 11, 13, 14, 15. We got 17 supporters in this deck, so we play a lot of supporters to discard. And once we play up to at least 10, we're going to be doing big damage with Shadow Chant. We got three choice bands. The extra 30 also goes a long way. I am playing three DCEs for Greninja. We don't need to play four because we do have Tomb Hunt. Um, and for the energy, I've gone with four Rainbow Energies. One unit, um, I'm only playing this just because I have a rainbow, I have a secret rare version so it looks cooler. But I think this can be replaced with a psychic energy and three basic water energies. Um, so this is the Bayonet Greninja list that I've gone with. It's a very interesting deck idea for Bayonet and Greninja. Um, a combo a lot of people probably won't see coming. So we're going to go see if we can play some games on the ladder with this deck. See what this deck is all about. So I'll catch you guys in just a minute with the matches. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go find some games with the deck here and I'm interested to see how we do. Looks like our first match is up against, well, a bunch of different types, but something tells me it's a Rodom deck, which I think we can beat. Um, Mo Rodom might be a problem though, obviously uh, that's a big issue. Uh, we get the double hand of both Lily and Fan Club, so we got the turn one double, but I actually like this hand quite a bit, a lot we can do with it. Uh, we'll see how this matchup plays out. Lower HP decks are a lot better. Um, that what we want. Okay, so he's actually playing Slugma then? Okay. Maybe it's not a Rodom deck? No. Okay, so he's playing a Ninetales deck. Ninetales is, uh, a bit of an issue, I guess. I don't know if he's gonna be playing Zork Ninetales, though. No, he puts a Metal Energy on, though. So he's playing a Metagross deck? Okay, now I'm really confused. Now I am really confused. So we're just gonna go Fan Club here for Double Froki, I think. Check the deck. We got... One, no, we got all our frogs. We have our bayonets. Got our shuppets. Okay, let's check the energies. Um, okay, we got a Cynthia prize. We got a judge prize. Got all our DCEs. We got one rainbow prize. So those are like the only prizes I know of. Okay, so we'll just grab double Froki. We can attach the Froki to build it up. Don't really need to go headbutt. It's not going to do much. Get the energy on Greninja now. It's always good to build up a Greninja when you get the opportunity to attach energy to it. It's really nice. So we'll have to see what my opponent does next. Um, really confused as to what they're playing. It might just be a Magnezone deck, I'm guessing. But he has Lightning type, which I guess is Magnemite. I, I don't, I'm, actually, I'm confused right now. I actually don't know what kind of a deck I'm up against here. Really don't. Uh, we'll play the Unity on our Shuppet. And we will get a Lily here. Hopefully Lily can grant us Bayonet. And we might be able to knock out the Vulpix this turn. I don't know though if we're going to be able to. So he is indeed playing Metagross. Metagross is a bit harder to beat because we are going to not do as much damage. Thanks to Resistance. So that's a problem. We can Frogadier hit the Vulpix. We can Lily for four. Okay, we did not get the Bayonet. We can just headbutt him for 10 then. Not a whole lot, but we can do this. Next turn, we do have Greninja, though. Maybe we can top deck a Lele so we can Guzma knock out Beldum. Try and get rid of the Beldums is really good. We can potentially take two prizes next turn. I mean, at least a very good. at the very end of the day, we can sure can Flurry the Vulpix, knock it out, force him to bring something else in the active. Might be Slugma, but we'll see. I mean, ideally here, what we want to do is we want to knock out a um, we want to knock out a Beldum. Just make sure he can't get any Metagross set up. 
It depends on what he's Metagross build he's using. If he's using Metagross, baby Metagross with Stevens, or he's just playing the GX build. I'm assuming he's playing the GX build? I don't know. He has Lightning types in his deck too. I don't know what that could be. I thought it was a Magnezone deck at first. It's not though. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's a Metagross deck, so I don't know what to think. So he will do a beacon. Um, obviously, if he grabs a... Yeah, if he grabs a... Uh, if he grabs Metagross GX here, we know 100% that he has Rare Candy in hand. So we'll check it out. So he's not grabbing Metagross. He is grabbing Macargo. He could Lily for Rare Candy. Okay, so we only get a Judge here. Unfortunately, it's not going to give us the uh, Guzma, but Judge isn't bad. We can stop the full pick. We could get a Guzma off the prizes. No, we get another Judge. Okay, well, more supporters than Mary. We'll see what he brings up here. This is actually tough for my opponent. Maybe he brings out Beldum. Okay, so yeah, he brought up Beldum. He probably thinks that, like, I can't KO him with Bayonet, but uh, yeah, not when I do this. Plus, we can Judge him here. And, alright, no other Frogadiers, which is what I was hoping to get. Um, that's fine, though. Um, I can just haste slash him for the knockout. We'll save the Choice Band and Field Blower. That's fine. We can take our prize. Don't want to shuffle Greninja back quite yet. We'll see what our prize is. We got a Rest Stretcher, which we can't really play right now. But, yeah. So, I'm glad my opponent did that. I mean, I guess to a degree, he's like, oh, I need Slugma. He's actually just going to do a Steven's Resolve. So, if we can top deck another way to get a judge which we can we have our treasure we have ultra ball we have lele we have one judge left in the deck we have a lot of options to hit a judge here to stop the steven's resolve okay never mind it's not even a big deal though because we actually knock him out yeah it doesn't matter whatever i was like we can judge him but yeah my opponent concedes he didn't even put my cargo down that turn oh no i judged him what am i saying so yeah it was a metagro split build um playing that macargo engine i'm telling you the macargo engine is very good um i don't know how good it is though when you don't have any Acro bikes or really any other way to draw cards. That's my problem with the Macargo engine. You, if you play Macargo, you have to play a heavier count of Lily. You have to play Acro bikes. If you don't play that, there's no point. We're actually gonna be able to get a pack here, which is pretty dope. So that's pretty good. We'll see what the pack gives us. Hopefully, we can get. I mean, if we pull a bayonet, that'd be hilarious. I don't know if I even want to get Celestial Storm. I am still looking for Rayquazas. So I guess it's worth it. I don't think I need to save up right now. It's, you know, November's pretty far away. So, we can just open this pack. Pull something good. And, I mean, a Fuller Taint, Liza, or Rayquaza is really all I'm looking for at this point in time. Okay, I will take it. TV Reporter Full Art. And this is actually a debatably a decent card. Draw three cards, discard a card from your hand. This card is not bad. I mean, we can even put it in our Bayonet deck also. We can discard a supporter and draw three cards. So there you go. DV Reporter Full Art is always a good pull. We got a 70 HP Meditite, which is actually pretty relevant in my opinion. To be a 70 HP Pokemon. So we'll do another match with our deck. Uh, we might get another pack by the end of this video too. And it looks like we're up against Guardi. Gardevoir is going to be an interesting matchup. Um, not going to lie. Don't know how I feel about it. We aren't winning the coin flip, which is not good. Gardevoir is an interesting matchup, to say the least. Uh, we're actually going to start with a Baby Buzz, which is not the greatest start. We do have a turn one Lily, though, which is good. I have Guzma in hand, too, so we'll see what we're playing against. It's most likely Gardevoir Sylveon. Gardevoir is going to be a bit tough. Um, Bayonet's really weak against Gardevoir. 190 HP is not a lot. Even though it uses 1 energy to hit hard, it's still not a lot of HP. My opponent's going to do a Cynthia. Okay, so... If I can top deck a DC here, no, never mind. I, was gonna, I can't goose my. God, I can't remember that. Oh, you know what? We do actually have a knockout. Just realized. Just realized. We'll get rid of. Um, we'll get rid of Greninja, and this is actually. I don't really know what to get rid of here. Everything I kind of want to keep. I guess Guzma. I can just go Tate Liza knock him out with Tapu Lele. I mean, it's not progressing our board state in terms of, like, Frokies and Shuppets, but it does mean that I get the knockout here on him, so that's good. That's good for me. I literally even said if I top deck a DC, I should KO him. I kept thinking Guzmo is how I was going to do it, but no, Lele can do it. That, sh that switch effect is actually relevant, and yeah, we knock him out, potentially saving us a turn. We'll see what our prize is. 
There's another Tapu Lele. Okay, we'll probably just do Lily, though. We just need we need to get some Folkies down next turn. Ideally, we can start attacking this Ralts. We can knock it out next turn, too, if he doesn't turn it into a Curlia or a Gardevoir. So I don't mind playing aggressive with Lele. He's actually going to do Ting Laser for 5. Not the best turn, and we'll see if he hits Rare Candy Gardevoir. I highly doubt he'll take a knockout this turn, which is good. He's going to stretch or get back a Ralts, so he's still in the match. We'll see if he got anything off Tate and Lies. It's only five cards. It's not a whole lot compared to Cynthia or Hala or Sycamore or even N. So he's going to pass. Yeah, he didn't get anything. There's a Froakie top deck. I'll choice ban the Lele just so I can Lily for four. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got Bayonet. Uh, we'll get rid of Ultra Ball, I think. That can go. We'll grab Shuppet. I do want to attach an energy to Froakie, but we, we need to take the knockout here. Like, if he does knock out Lele next turn, that's a problem, but we are still progressing the board state by removing his Rawls. And we got an Aqua Patch, so that all works out if he does kill me. That's why I played the one Aqua Patch, right? So I think we're in a good spot. So far, we've only discarded three supporters. So we're only currently doing, um, we're currently doing 60 damage with Shadow Hunt, or Shadow Chant. So we're doing 60 damage, 70 with the Shadow Shady move, 80 with, uh, Frogadier, so, yeah. But next turn we'll play on supporter. Opponent does have DC with the Cynthia. This could get a rare candy Gardevoir and a fairy energy. I would not be surprised. Ooh, angry face. The angry face comes down. So yeah, we're sitting pretty. My opponent concedes. This deck is making everyone concede today, guys. Apparently it is considered BDIF all of a sudden. Nah, but uh, we're not really getting much Bayonet action. Uh, compared to what I would have expected. But you know, it's fine. We can keep plowing through the matches. So we'll see what we got next. So we'll go for Tails here. Alright, nice. So we win the coin flip. I actually don't really know what I'm playing against here. I honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, was, I wasn't actually paying attention there. Um, Buzz will probably be best starter here. Shuppet can, you know, wait. You know, Bayonet's usually like a late game guy anyways, I'm finding. We do have a good enough hand though to Ultra Ball for Froakie. And do stuff there. Another Metagross matchup. Alright, Metagross everywhere we go. I'm actually going to get rid of Rainbow Energy and Choice Band. We're going to grab Lele. Lily or Fan Club? The problem with doing Lily, if I don't hit a Froakie, I don't really get to take much advantage of this Water Energy. But Fan Club, but Lily just seems better. Because we can drop to 5 cards. But we have Cynthia, so I think it's better just to grab Fan Club. I know... But I think we still want to do fan club. I still want to get double Froakie, guys. I still want to set up my board a little bit. Um, it looks like we have a Greninja GX prize. We have our Bayonets, which is good. We got to check the energy. Okay, we got all the energy, so that's good. Actually, I don't even know what's prized, to be honest with you. I think it's better to double Froakie. Again, we have the water in hand. Every Any turn we can attach to Froakie is a good turn, in my opinion. So, I think it's good. We'll see what kind of Metagosex is. I think either one would be fine because Metagross GX, uh, we can e we can two-shot pretty easily. Um, it is a problem with Max Potion, but we can always just recycle Greninja thanks to its attacks, so that's another positive. So yeah, we'll have to see what my opponent does here. I might be a little scared of a turn two Metagross, but even like, big, I, mean, I don't even know if I want to do Baby Buzzwell. We already got rid of a Rainbow. We'll see. Shadowy Hunter could be good, too. I mean, actually, at this point, it doesn't even look like my opponent is even playing. He's not doing anything. Nope, never mind. He's going to do a Nest Ball, probably for a third Beldum. So he's not actually playing the good Beldum with 7 HP, which kind of matters. 7 HP is quite a bit for these frogs, so yeah. He's going to get rid of a Choice Band and a Guzma. Getting a little info pick. So all we've done so far is played one supporter. But Bayonet, again, as stated before, is not that great here, considering he's got resistance. So he's actually going to Guzma me, bringing out my Froakie. Okay, interesting. He's going to do Beacon. He's only got one card in hand. He's going to grab a Matang and a Metagross, so he has a rare candy, which is a little annoying. Um, we can put down Frogadier. I mean, I could hit this full picks, but we're going to do this instead. Well, Cynthia... So his hand is Matang, Metagross, Rare Candy. That's actually kind of bad, in my opinion, for us. Okay, we can put down you. I can actually hold the Kikui for next turn if I really want to. 
I do want to get another frog deer though. I don't know. We'll wait a turn. We're not in a rush. We'll just water drip him. We can do Kikui next turn, knock out Vulpix. I was gonna grab a frog deer there, but it's whatever, I don't really care. Alright, really mind. So he's gonna put down Matang on the damage one, unless he does have Hurricane Metagross. No, he has a Lele in hand, okay. So he must have grabbed the Metagross because he had a Matang prize, and in case he drew Rare Candy. He's actually gonna do Lily here, so we'll see if he finds a Rare Candy off this Lily for 5. Very possible. Very, very plausible. Nope, he didn't. Okay. Now he definitely gets a Metagross next turn. And I can't really stop this Matang. Ooh, Judge is a big draw. I think we have to play Judge here. So yeah, we'll get rid of Kikui, and we'll get rid of a Froakie. We'll grab Greninja GX, right? It's either a guy Greninja or I got like a Bayonet. No, I'll grab Greninja. Grab the Greninja boy. We'll play him down. We don't need to hit anything other than, I guess, Matang. We gotta be careful with our damage, but we can judge him here. And so far, we've earned four supporters. Okay. I was hoping we'd get DCE. Kinda figured we wouldn't. Um, it's fine, though. We can put Rainbow Energy on to shuffle it. And pass. We got Lily for next turn. We can even Ace Rolla. Worst comes to worst. There's a Max Potion. So Max Potion is going to be a very big player in how I'm going to win this game. He's just going to continuously fully heal the Metagross. And that is not good. He's grabbing double Metagross once again. We drew a Guzma. Hmm. If I had... Well, if I had Bayonet and he still had the damage on board, I would have KO'd that Matang this turn. It's a little unfortunate. We'll put down another Froki. We'll Lily here for four. There's a DC, so we got DC, which is pretty good. Um, I probably need to get another Frogadier. We'll get rid of We'll get rid of Shuppet and Ace Rolla. I don't know if I should have gotten rid of Ace Rolla, to be honest with you. I kinda wanna keep Guzman though. We'll put down the extra Frogadier, get the extra damage on board. Put 20 on the Matang. And we will haste slash for 110. Knock out the full picks. He definitely has Metagross for next turn. But it's fine. He is getting an energy in the discard, which is also kind of relevant. But we do get a Cynthia off the prizes, so that is good. That is good. So he's going to get the rare candy too. Yikes. So he's going to be able to double Metagross me this turn, which is pretty bad. We have played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 supporters so far. We're going to play 7. So we're doing an okay amount of damage with Bayonet at this point in time, which is nice. Opponent's going to do another Lily here. That's his second Lily. He hasn't played a single Cynthia yet, which is pretty bad. Alright. So he'll hit me for 150. I am going to be able to heal. I just don't know what to go into. I don't know what the heck I want to go into. I could go into Buzzwool, but I sacrifice it? Is it even worth it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll play the Choice Band down. We'll do Cynthia for 6. See what we get. Okay, we got another Frogadier. I think I just go into Buzzwool. I, I mean, my boy Buzzwool did nothing wrong, if I'm going to be quite honest. I'm actually going to spread out the damage, because you can just max potion, potentially. Um, yeah, I think I go into my boy Buzzwool. Buzzwool can get KO'd at this point. I mean, I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry. It's a little unfortunate I got a sacrifice of Buzzwool, but it's for the greater good. He's heavily damaged, so if he doesn't max potion this turn, we're going to KO that Metagross. The only problem here is, if he does max potion, we're in trouble. Like, our win condition after Metagross could be taking out both Lele's with a Bayonet. That could be our other win condition. Not going to lie, though, I'm a little shaky. I'm really scared if he hits a max potion. For the love of good. For the love of everything that's good, he hit the max potion. Oh my gosh. This is where things fall apart. I am glad I didn't put all the damage on one guy. That's pretty bad, though. I was going to say, if we could take out Metagross next turn, we could finish off one of the Lele's. That could be our way to win Shady Move, Choice Band, or Greninja damage. Not looking like it's the case. We're going to have to hope we hit Greninja here. Let's see. Another DCE. We'll do a Nest Ball here for... Well, it looks like we have to grab Froakie, which is fine. 
We're just gonna be a big Cynthia. If we whiff Greninja, guys, we're in trouble. Okay, we didn't whiff it. Good. I was like, oh no, do we actually just whiff? Uh, we'll put 30 damage on Metagross. We'll Choice Band. And we will Hay Slash. So how much AMB HP does he have left? 190. Yeah. We won't Shuffle. Don't need to do it. He's got 60 HP left, so we can actually KO him next turn thanks to switching Guzma. If he does another Max Potion, though, guys, this is going to be a bit of a downhill game. Things will start to go downhill. I am going to look at a Metagross Necrozma deck soon. So he's not doing Max Potion, which is good. Uh, this is bad. If he doesn't max potion, dude, I am in trouble. I re I'm actually, I'm just so scared of a max potion right now. Not gonna lie. Okay, good. Whoa, he misclicked. I think he misclicked, guys. Oh my gosh. Just that's the advantage we needed at this point. He either misclicked. I mean, he's probably gonna get a quad metagross set up here, which is pretty scary. But we're going to knock out one of his Metagrosses, which is still really big. That misclick is everything, guys. That misclick is everything. Um, doesn't really matter what we do. We'll Guzma up the Metagross. We will take him down. I would have liked to get an extra energy on one of my Frogadiers this turn. Ideally, that would have been nice. But, you know what? A slash it is. We could have done Shadowy Hunter, obviously. But, again, we want to put supporters in the discard. And we'll take our two prizes. We got a unit energy and a judge. Okay. The judge isn't terrible. Would have been nice last turn. Actually, yeah, we could have judged and potentially judged and stopped him and then KO'd him with Shadowy Hunter. It's fine, though. We have played a lot of supporters. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're basically at the point now where Bayonet's doing max damage, which is really big. So we're in a good spot. I do want to get another shuffle off the prizes, though. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I actually had to pause the video real quick. Um, I know, professional. Um, but yeah, I had to pause the video for a sec. Uh, we might as well judge him here. Problem is, what do I go into? I might have to go into another Greninja. Okay, we got Greninja. But yeah, I, guys, I had to pause the video. We're going to judge him to four. Again, we got to hope he doesn't get a max potion here. Ooh, we actually didn't get that great of a hand either, though. It's fine. We'll, we'll hit this guy. Uh, our hand isn't the greatest. We've played a lot of our supporters. We do have Guzma. I think I'm going to have to go into Tapu Lele here. I think I have to go into Tapu Lele. <sighs> Not what I... I mean, I also could go into the Frogadier, I guess, but... Well, if he finds a Choice Band, he's played one so far. And I did judge him to four. He's played a few supporters. I'm gonna just risk it and hope Lele survives. I also gotta hope he doesn't heal. Then hopefully next turn we can potentially knock him out Shadowy Hunter. No, he's actually just gonna straight up max potion is active. Without even retreating. Okay. Or no, he's gonna Guzma me. That works too. And that is also very annoying. I'm surprised we haven't been able to get a Bayonet down. I don't know where my Bayonets are at. We have our own Guzma. He's got so much energy in the discard, it doesn't even matter what we use my up rip. Yikes, 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 yikes. If we don't hit an energy here, we are in trouble. We are in trouble if we don't find energy. <laughs> it's not an energy. That is not an energy, so... Yeesh. We're gonna lose Greninja here, almost. Hmm. This, oh, this is so dumb. This is the dumbest play I've ever done in my life, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, just, just gonna, just gonna leave it at that. I think I have to do that. If I lose Greninja, because he, he's only played, well, he's played three Guzmas, but I don't want to lose Greninja. I don't even care if I did that. That was a funny play, but it's whatever. Does he get a knockout, though? Does he get a knockout? We just need to maybe top deck Bayonet here. If we can get a Bayonet off the top deck, and he gets the knockout, are you kidding me? <sighs> God, <sakes. sighs> Metagross, why are you so evil? Okay, well. There's an Ultra Ball. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so. We can guarantee the Bayonet, um, but I'm actually going to get Lele here. 
for Lily. At the cost of two of my Guzmas. Um, I mean, that's pretty big, actually, but whatever. I'll grab Lily. I could have grabbed Bayonet and guaranteed the attack, obviously, but I'm going to grab Lily instead. I hope he doesn't play Kikui, to be honest with you, or Delmize, because that does allow him to do one night. And, all right, there we go. We kind of got what we were looking for. I'm not going to lie. We kind of got what we were looking for there. We're going to be able to hit him hard with um, Shady Move. No, we'll just Shadow Chant him. Would have been nice to have a Choice Band there and another Greninja GX, but we can in for 110. We will KO this Metagross next turn with our Bayonet, which is pretty big. So let's see. It's going to retreat. Please don't have your fourth max potion in your hand. That'd be amazing. I actually, I just, I mean, I know Bayonet will get knocked out this turn. I just really hope it isn't. It's not a, I mean, there isn't a good way to snipe the Metros in the bench either. We use three of our Guzmas too. If I can top that Guzma here, I can bring out Metagross, but I can't even KO it. That's, that's just dirty. That is dirty. This win, guys, is not easy. We're putting up a good fight, though. I'll give, I'll give him that. I think I have to retreat here. Well, sh shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to move the damage off of me. Awesome. I'm so good at this game. Ah, man. Okay, so. We can do Tain Liza and switch. But I think we have to shuffle. We still have a decent. We still have a couple rainbows left, right? Yeah, we're okay. Okay. No Greninja GXs. Wow. I was hoping we would hit one there. We'll get rid of Aqua Patch. Just dump. Just I don't know. Search the deck. Yeah, we have Greninja. We have our Frogadier. Still have one Guzma. Still have a few energies. Maybe I should have kept Aqua Patch. Whatever, it's fine. Bit of a misplay there with that uh, shady move, as you can tell. I'm a bit of a noob. Uh, we can Haze Slash him though. I was hoping we hit our Guzma too to knock out this boy. But I think we're kind of back to where we started, where they're all heavily damaged. It's just we can't really. The amount of HP they have left, we can't really finish them off with Greninja's. And there's a Field Blower. That was my last choice beam, too. That is really bad. And he's gonna Nest Ball for nothing. He's gonna do Cynthia. He's probably gonna hit that Max Potion here. He's gonna retreat, right, into the other Metagross, okay. And he's gonna Max Potion. At least we now know he's out of Max Potions. That's literally the only benefit. And he's gonna Pal Pad back those Guzmas. Oh, jeez Louise, guys. Jeez Louise. I think we gotta sacrifice Froakie. I think we have to sacrifice Froakie here. It's looking like my boy Froakie's gotta go down. I don't know what we can do. I actually don't think we're gonna win this game. This is looking pretty unwinnable at this point. Let's see who we draw. Water energy is not really the greatest. We can Hay Slash, we'll have to shuffle, bring out Froki, lose Froki here. I mean, we can knock him out Bayonet next turn, I guess, but that's not going to help us. Maybe I should have brought out Lele and call his bluff that he doesn't have that second choice, that he doesn't have his last choice banned. Instead of just giving up an easy prize, that might have been a bit of a misplay, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. I probably should have done that, though. I probably should have brought out Lele and said, hey, if you don't have choice banned, you're not going to count me. He brings out a fresh Metagross, though. I don't know how I'm going to win this. The fact that we burned so many Guzmas isn't good either. We only got one left. It's the only way, but either. We still have to take three prizes, guys. I don't think I'm winning this. This win, I think, is literally impossible at this point. Yeah, I don't see how I'm going to win this, guys. We've played so many resources. I don't know. We're going to bring out Froki because... Or Frogadier, sorry, because we can retreat it in case we don't get a good top deck. Okay, we got a Cynthia. Let's see. If we can get Greninja here. This may be game-changing. Ah, oh, but we didn't get the DC to follow up. No! No DCE. We have a two retreat cost, too. Great. Okay. We'll do this. We'll pass. Hope he doesn't have Guzma and an attack next turn. No DC sucks. 
And he has Guzman for game. Dang it. Ah, oh, man, that, that game was just brutal. Four max potions. He played every single one of them, too. Like, bruh. Usually when you play against Metagross, you want to hope they play the max potions not early on and just burn a few from, like, discards or something. But the fact that he got to play all four of them... It, oh, my gosh. I had to do that Tapu Kier play, too. If I didn't, I could have used Shadowy Hunter, which could have been something. Dang it, dude. I'm actually pretty pretty annoyed that we lost. Um, we'll find another match in just a minute, guys. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, guys, here we go. Let's get one last match with the Bayonet Greninja deck. Bit of a sad loss there against that Metagross deck, but it's all good. Um, hopefully, at the end of this game, we can get a pack or something. Um, we'll have to see what we end up facing off against here. I am trying to see if I can play against like a Buzzwell deck. I haven't played against Buzzwell. I don't even know at all if I've even played against it once in this new format. I don't know why Buzzwell is so rare recently to find for some reason, but whatever. Um, we'll see what we win. Okay, we win the coin flip. Uh, we are playing against a deck that has Lightning, Psychic, and Fighting in it. Don't know what to expect. All right, we didn't get the best of starting hands either. It's one of those hands that's like not great, obviously. Uh, we can Nest Ball for like maybe a Froakie here or something. So he's playing a Buzz Shrine deck. Okay, this is a matchup I'm fine with. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. We'll grab Froakie, I think, because we have Frogadier in hand. I don't know what I want to do, though, with this energy. I could attach it here. And I can start will o wisping for 40. I think we'll attach it to Froakie and pass. It kind of sucks that our hand is that bad. Whatever. Next turn, we can attack with Shuppet if worse comes to worse. Okay, he's going to play Broken Hill, which does help us out a little bit. I'll have to put the DC on Froakie and just hope my opponent doesn't have a way to enhance Hammer Me if he's even playing it. Um, but it looks like we are up against a Buzz Shrine deck, which... Or at least a Buzz Garb deck. It wouldn't be a Buzz Shrine deck, but that's not a Shrine of Punishment, as you can tell. That is a Brooklet Hill. Um, Shuppet does get two-shotted here, unfortunately. We're going to need Bane in this matchup to one-shot all of his attackers, so... We are... Hopefully going to be able to get some Bayonet action, and we're going to see him Ultra Ball away Rainbow Energy and another Brooklet Hill. Going to grab in a Rank Guru. Something I would like to see right now would be another Pokemon. Um, I don't think we're going to lose anytime soon. Frogadier should be able to survive a turn. Okay. What do we top deck? That's pretty bad, because we are already going to get a Froakie down. I mean, we got four Cynthia's, we got our Judge, we got Lily, Tate, and Liza. Uh, we prized a water energy, we prized, um, yeah, we prized a water, and it looks like we prized one of our rainbows, potentially. We did prize a frogadier, too. Alright. Losing Shuppet here kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. We'll put down frog. Um, I might actually have to do this instead. We'll hit him for 20. Not, I don't really know if it matters where the damage. I'm going to ace roll in my Shuppet. I'm gonna have to, I mean, we're gonna need Shuppet, man. I mean, I have Stretcher in hand, I know, but... I'm, I mean, it's better to play Supporters. Plus, if I top deck a Bayonet, then I can start hitting for 80, and then we can kind of go from there. So, we might as well just Ace Roll the... Save our Shuppet for later. Shuppet's important in this matchup. Um, we'll see what we can do. I mean, if we do top deck a Greninja GX, at the very least, we can start doing Greninja GX stuff. Greninja GX isn't bad here. We can put damage on the Garboders to one-shot them. We can Shadowy Hunter them. We one-shot Buzzwool, so it's all good. Alright, so we'll see what he does. I doubt Froakie goes down this turn. I mean, he could play Professor Kikui. I mean, the list that I had played Kikui in it, so I wouldn't be surprised if he played Kikui. Nope, he's just going to Sledgehammer me for 50. So we got an extra turn here to survive. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to grab another Froki. Actually, let's just grab Buzzwool. Yeah, come on. Come on, game. Let's not lose because of our bad top decks. Kind of want to attach the DC, but I have a feeling he's playing hammers. I don't know. I'm just going to wait on this hand. We'll have to just Sledgehammer next turn. I mean, what I could do anyways, I could bring out Froki. Let him knock it out again, and then start sledgehammering him. And if he did knock out Shuppet and I had to bring out Froki, I mean, technically I could have gone that route. Thankfully, Garboder's not doing much either, but it really sucks. I'm not looking forward to losing because of bad draws. We play a lot of supporters for a reason, so we'll bring out Buzzwool here. We'll have to start doing sledgehammer. 
Okay, there we go. We finally got a good top deck. Finally got a good top deck. Things can start going back into our favor. Gotta be careful how many items I play. Uh, well, Lily for four. There we go. We got our Greninja GX, which is pretty hype. Um, he's already gonna get KO'd. Um, might as well hit Buzzle. And we'll Sledgehammer him. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to attack a Greninja next turn. If I had a Water Energy, I'd probably knock out Garboder here. Or, I don't know, but the Buzzles seem like more of a threat. I don't know. Oh, he's gonna judge me. Okay, interesting. Um, again, I haven't played that many cards, so this should hopefully give us a hand we can play. No, it doesn't. Awesome. Why wouldn't it? So, yeah, he's gonna be building up a uh, swing around, too, which we gotta watch out for. This isn't Sledgehammer me. Alright, we drew a Lily. Not bad. Um, I could do Nest Ball, but I'd rather save it. There's a Bayonet GX, so now we got the game going. And I might actually just hold the hand for next turn, because we'll have a Guzma, so we'll save the hand. So, win him for 30. He'll have 40 HP, so I can double Frogadier him. I could maybe manipulate the damage here so that he doesn't get the effect of Sledgehammer. Another Judge. Wow, okay, never mind. I was going to say, we had a Guzma play next turn with Bayonet. But that is not looking like it's going to happen. Still no supporters. Wow. I mean, technically we only need to play like four or three supporters anyways for Shadow Chant. But still, it's kind of annoying. This matchup should be okay though. Once we deal with these Buzzwolves, get past Sledgehammer, Garboder, we can also manipulate by one. In fact, we've only played one item. And two, because we have Tomb Hunt, which can probably make Garboder go from like 70 to 100 to like nothing. He's actually going to bring out this Buzzwolf. He doesn't have sledge or swing around though, so. I'm curious. And I'm pretty sure I just drank water that's like a week old. But anyways. Oh, he's gonna go for the swing around play, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't really care. Does get double heads. Rather him get heads on a Pokemon, he's already gonna KO than something he isn't. Now I can bring out Bayonet here, or I can bring out Greninja. And I think Greninja's gonna be the guy to bring out this matchup. So we drew a Cynthia, okay. Um, I know there's nothing in there, but I'll just check anyways. I might just play the Cynthia. Well, Rainbow Energy Bayonet, we'll do the Cynthia. We're gonna knock him out. I don't need to do that for boy. And all right, I was hoping this would give us a Frogadier. This is one of those hands though, like I can grab a Frogadier here, hit him, knock him out next turn with Ninja. I don't mind that. Uh, what do we get rid of, though? I guess we'll have to get rid of a Nest Ball. And I guess Tate Liza can go? I mean, we are going to be taking a few prizes here, so if there's any supporters prize, we should get them. And we've only played three items. Plus, again, we have two hunts, so honestly, it shouldn't be a big deal. Should not be a big deal. So we'll knock him out. We only take possibly up to... Th we'll probably take three prizes next turn also. Um, okay, we got Judge, so that's good. But yeah, we should be able to take three prizes next turn. We can drop Greninja, knock him out. Um, he'll probably bring out a Ranguru, because he's like, oh, well, it doesn't get knocked by Hay Slash, but I can do Shadowy Hunter. And then I'll Guzma, knock something out with Shadow Chain. Seems fine. He's going to do his own Tate Liza. Okay. The worst thing that can happen is probably Enhanced Hammer, and I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't put it against him that he doesn't play it. He probably plays Enhanced Hammer in his deck, so... Ooh, a Buzzwool GX. How much are we doing with Bayonet right now? We are indeed knocking it out, right? 30, 60, 80. Uh, we, we, we knock out. We're going to knock out that Buzzwool. Um, we're going to take a lot of prizes this turn, too, which is really good. So we'll knock out uh, this guy. We'll take a prize. There we go. Another Water Energy. Beautiful. Can attach that here. We can Guzma up the Buzzwool. And this is kind of where the game is going to go in. This is why I like having the Bayonet. This is why Bayonet is pretty good with my boy. And we'll, we can move that on to Garboder. Now Garboder's in range. You're getting knocked out by Greninja. And we can Shadow Chant knock out Buzzle. Thank you for putting that on your bench. That is an easy two prizes. And at this point, I don't know how my opponent's going to win. Bayonet's not going to be one-shotted. Unless he, like, out of nowhere drops, like, a Dark Attacker. We basically have the game. And you can see why I like this Bayonet combo. After you kind of rack up some damage in play, you play a couple supporters. Bayonet's a pretty big threat, especially against Buzzle here. Yeah, my opponent scoops the matchup. I think we'll wrap up today's PCGO video here. We get some coins, which means we can buy a pack. So we'll wrap up this, we'll wrap up today's video with a little pack opening for you guys. I don't know if I really even want to buy 
Um, I don't know if I really want to buy a Celestial Storm. I bought way too many of those. I kind of want to get another base set, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, though. It's not really worth it. There's really no other pack I'm looking for. Other, maybe Ultra Prism. I don't really want to buy a Celestial Storm. I kind of want to buy... You know what, guys? Let's go OG. Let's go buy a Plasma Freeze pack. Let's buy a Plasma Freeze pack to wrap today's video. I don't think Bayonetta Greninja in this set, but, uh... If we can pull another Seeker Ultra Ball, I'll have five, and that would be awesome. Even though its price has dropped significantly, I think it's worth it. So, we'll wrap up the video here with a Seeker Ultra Ball. Nope, a Seismic Toad. But yeah, that'll wrap today's PCGO video. Probably should have got some Storm Pack. But I like this deck quite a bit. I think it is good. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, I think this deck has some potential. I don't know. Uh, the idea of Bayonet Greninja, there's a lot of damage manipulation you can do. Um, it's a fun deck to play. Um, again, that Mad Gross matchup was pretty bad. I feel like if we were able to get a little lucky we would have been fine but anyways that's today's video thanks for watching if you enjoyed make sure to like the video subscribe to help on the road to 4,000 subs of support and the growth in the channel this past month has been just bonkers and it's been honestly making me want to just keep making videos it's been motivating me a lot um and it's really put a smile on my face thanks again guys and i'll see you guys later goodbye